Hey, hello everyone. Uh, this is a happy anime, Cookie Badger, here with another. Well, walk through an episode for a pretty good game. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. Anyway, the first couple of times, uh, Pearl uh, won't even talk to you, so. My only ch chance is to show off the Magatama. Oh, yeah, Maya said it's gonna give this to you. Ah, I'm, I'm in trouble now. If Morgan sees us like this, I'll be the, uh, I'll be the, the next Wonder Good challenge. Th that's, that's Mystic Maya. Huh? She, she actually spoke. Who are you? Uh, I'm Phoenix Wright. I, uh, I worked with Maya. You, you worked with Mystic Maya? You, you're Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me? I bet I know who, who she picked Nick up from. I know who you are. You're... You're Mystic Maya's... Special someone! Aww! Oh, just look at that face! It's so adorable! Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> and now we... We will take an intermission!
can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magasama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? Please take this. I'm sure it will be helpful. What do you mean? It will let you see people's secrets. See people's secrets? Yes. If it's alright with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magasama's power to you when, when we meet someone hiding a secret. Well, someone certainly has something to hide. Anyway, June 20th, Spay Monarch Side Room. Hello again! We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today! Aw, uh, she's like, totally cute! Is she like, your daughter? <laughs> what? what? No, how old do you think I am? about the victim. I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Grace. I, like, totally don't know him. Ah! What is this? Sam? You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on the person's heart. Huh? What? This is the power of the Monotama. Only you can see these sight locks, Mr. Nick. Sight locks, huh? The more someone wants to hide their secrets, the more locks you will see. If it's only well, one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? But how? Please use my... Please use Mystic Ma, Maya's Magasama on this person. And let's remove the lock. I have no idea what she's talking about, but... Guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof, proof you need, you must you have the courage to stop. Well, I've got to start somewhere. Let's give this psych lock a thing a try. I'm going to ask you again, did you know Dr. Grace? I totally don't know that guy. Like, you're totally more persistent than a roach. This girl is hiding something. I'm sure of it. I guess I have no choice but to remove this lock. Alright, so first I have to use Maya's Magatama. Provide a lot of life bar for this case. I mean, there, there's no, there's no me messing around in this point in the game. So this feature is quite new and new to me. If you're like so totally sure, then where's like your proof? While it may be possible that you never actually. Man, for a Dr. Gray in person, I do believe you might have at least an indirectly no known of him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I should try, try to show the possibility existed for now. Hmm. So, something that shows a possible connection between Amy and Dr. Gray. Try again. You 
left a blank. Blank is a mess. Are you going to fold it? Like, I had a really good nap, and, like, I was thinking of leaving it like this, so, like, it's all set for tonight. Back at the meditation room. Hey, it's you, pal. So you're going to be a beer lawyer, I bet. Yes. Oh, I really feel bad for you, pal. Just this once, I wish I could be on your side. Detective Gumshoe? Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're a cute kid. <laughs> I'm not scary, aren't I? Wow, I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Hey, I know. I'll show you something cool. That's... How's this? It's a real genuine pistol. The detective Gumshoe, what are you do doing showing her something that dangerous? Oh, sorry. Maya's guilt. What about Maya and the charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. If you're talking about proof, we've got a few pieces. You've got no- You've got proof? Yeah, pal. That puppy-haired photographer's going to testify tomorrow. You must be talking about law that actually- Speaking of water, I took some hot pit of pictures earlier. Huh? Remember, I, I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. One hot picture. I wonder what her camera captured. Besides, you must actually, you must have realized by now, Cal, there's no way anyone other than Maya Faye could have done it. What am I supposed to say to Pearl, Pearl's now? about Dr. Gray. The victim wasn't super famous, but people were still knew who he was. His face was all over those tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers from the uh, last year and... Huh? I could have sworn I had a cut of... I had... I cut an article out, but I guess I must have lost it. He's uh, searching through his pockets and boy, are those big. Um, it looked uh, really interesting, too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article? I think Dr. Gray might have... Might have brought a copy to the office when he, when he came by. Tomorrow's trial? About Maya's trial tomorrow. I've got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. So which do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. Alright, pal. Well, the prosecutor for the trial is Prosecutor Von Karma. What? Von Karma? Monfred Von Karma. He was an awe inspiring veteran prosecutor. He never lost a case in foot in the 40 years of his career, and he raised a fearsome disciple. The horrible afterstate of the evil he fought force fed me is something I'll never forget. Wait a sec, but did Von Karma stand trial and that's where the other piece of bad news comes in. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his, his successor. Successor? So, um, who is this successor to Von Karma? Literally, pal, it's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. His kid became a prosecutor real young, like 13, and hasn't lost a trial since. That's what they call a prodigy, pal. Um, Kid, huh? Whoa, whoa, wait a sec! The thir 13? The kid became a prosecutor at the age of 13? I mean, a prodigy like that? I would have heard something about it. Oh, no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. That country's got a lot of stuff in its great place to develop a person's talent. Germany, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this person. Ugh. Still, all it takes is someone mentioning the name Von Karma. And I get terrible flashbacks to that case. Stop it! Get over it, Phoenix. That person is already gone.
I'm at the uh, Ryan Company Law Offices. Phew, it feels like I've been gone forever. But it's only been one day. Oh, that's right. Where's that newspaper Dr. Gray brought the other day? Ah, here it is, right on top of my desk. This is the only thing he left behind that's going to be of any help. Newspaper clipping one. Type evidence retreat at the Ryan Company Law Offices. A poster of the TV action hero, the Steel Samurai. Maya stuck it up here, here right before she left. I wouldn't say that the Steel Samurai and the attorney's office are a good match, but Maya threatened to curse me with some magic spell, so I guess it, it could stay. Difficult look, looking legal books stand in the forbidable road. They mock me. Actually, I've neglected them for so long, a, a layer of dust has started to form. One of these days, I should try to build up the courage to read one. Maybe. Charlie, quite a decorative plant. It's a memento of my boss, Mia, who passed away. The rest of the room may be in shambles, but I always manage to take care for this little fella. There is a giant building just outside the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel, a high-class luxury hotel. Until recently, it had been a normal business-class hotel. It's my desk. I keep it neat for those rare, rare occasions when I actually have a client in the office. Maya must still be in question. I hope the detectives are taking it easy on her, but these kinds of cases aren't taken lightly. I guess I'll come back later. Oh, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day, and... Hey! It's that news story! The one about the malpractice suit! Fourteen patients died, and it caused a huge stink. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things only get worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Mmm. Oh, here we go. I brought my own clipping with me today. Here, pal, this is for you. Alright, thanks. Newspaper clipping, too. Added to the court record. Type evidence received from Detective Gumshoe. One year ago on May 2nd, 14 patients died from malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. Mimi Miney Nur, nurse at the Gray Surgical Clinic, died after falling asleep at the wheel. to the side room. Nurse at the Great Surgical 
Ripley died after falling asleep at the wheel. Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident? Please read the victim's name. Um, Mimi Miney. Miney is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Mimi Miney wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? So you noticed. She, she was my older sister. I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister. Was she a nurse? Perhaps at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic? Gray's surgical clinic? I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. Which is uh, how you knew of Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister. Unlock successful! Please, tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. My, my sister's name was Mimi Miney. Damn, she's one scary nurse. Hate for me, Eni to open her eyes. She was like a nurse at the doc Dr. Grace Clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that, like, Dr. Gray was like, really tough on people, like a total slave driver. My sis was, like, always coming home totally wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out. So that's why she fell asleep at the wheel. That guy, like, drove my sis so hard, like, that's why that accident happened. The one where 40 patients died from, what, malpractice? Yeah, like, I think that that was the doctor's fault, too. My sister was pushed by, like, everyone's expectations and, like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to, to her death. Oh, and I'm so... Oh, I'm sorry. So, like, are we done? I, like, already told my story to, like, everyone. Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a cyclops works. Well, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. The lock at this time was pretty easy, but you might need people who aren't as willing to give in the, later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. Mr. Nick, hmm? what's wrong? I have never left Crane Village. R really, wow, that's um, pretty amazing. You are going to meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Hey, wait! She ran off again. Well, I know he any secret now, but I still don't have any ideas how I'm, going, how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should just go in there with a smile or a straight face. Ugh. Hmm. What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. I can't. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? That voice! M Mia! Even though, without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Maya's older sister and my mentor. She was a top-notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her to re in the retirement. But whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. 
Her spirit comes back for up from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. Phoenix, you can't make, make that kind of face in front of your client. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, and especially when it's bad. Mia, you can't smile at the end of, if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show the client, Phoenix. But, but, still tell me all about it. I'm going to guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. I told her everything about what happened in the de last two days. Mia clo closed her eyes deep in the thought while she listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. And that is, tell me, please, believe in your conviction and fight for the complete acquittal of your client. Not guilty? You think Maya's not guilty? How can you be so sure? I know she is, and I'll give you a hint as to why. Yes, mediums can't have dreams. Can't have dreams? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while challenged. Yeah, she said she dreamt, dreamt that she had died and had been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You've heard it from her, I'm sure. When a medium channels her own, her own spirit disappears, which means that's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then what does this mean? I think it's safe to bet, bet that Maya was set up. A set up? It's up to you to blow the lid, lid on this cake tomorrow, and show her she was set up. Evidence? How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hand. It, it is? Just as it sounds, Phoenix, you already hold the key. R really? Come on, I should... Show me the key to this case. The key, huh? Alright, I'll show it to her, the key I hold. Have you seen this key before? Ah, the key. It's literally the key to understanding everything that's happened in this case. This key. Fe Phoenix, listen, right now that key is sitting in your hand. However, it shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts. What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key is to this case. That is enough. But, but, how can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who? Who could have? At the time, I didn't know. But this uh, day was going to end with, with a turn for the surprise. Mia, what? What's wrong? That's right. Only I can see the psych lock. Which means Mia must know something about the real murderer. But for this to be the, something that she would have to hide under the lock, under lock and key, key from me, even me. What in the world is going on? To be continued, baby. goes on in the next episode. Until next time, to be continued, baby.